Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Here we are in the revamped Lily Cove, which you all have seen, and uh, I'm curious because an update just came out, and this will date this episode somewhat, but I think what literally just happened uh, this meant, yeah, this. Docking bay for sea truck plus any attached modules, high power and structure requirements. Well, we've got good power. Um... So we could stick it on top like that, and that's pretty cool. Or there, perhaps. Yeah, because the church is kind of awkwardly parked, and it has to remain awkwardly parked outside there. This is all the sea truck modules? I think I even forgot to do, like... Um... Yeah. Ah. So what have I got right now? Yeah, I've got the aquarium there, but I don't have... Oh, cool. <laughs> wow, quality of life. Is this new? Are they Have they revamped their focus on, like, trying to upgrade the game and keep it current? Because, I don't know, for ages when playing the first Subnautica, it was just, like, the advertisement for Below Zero. Um, and that was what they were working on, that was it. And then, ever since, kind of, like, the last... I guess a couple months of playing this game again, starting to play this game again. Uh, where's the sleeper module? There it is. Plasteel ingot fiber mesh and lead. I don't know actually how I'm doing on any of these supplies. Let's go have a look. But just updates. Aboard, Captain. Actual current stuff to pay attention to, which is, you know, a bit weird for somebody making a let's play on it. Kind of makes everything just a little different. Uh, yeah. I will say, like, certain quality of life stuff feels different. Like, I'm... I feel like it's locking my mouse movement for longer after coming out of inventory like that. I wonder if that was a deliberate choice. Or maybe I'm just... paranoid. <laughs> well, I don't have a titanium ingot or anything like that. So what is it that I need for this thing again? It's habitat module, so it'll be here. Well, let's start by making this. We are going to do some exploration today, even if it's just light, because the other thing is that I'm trying out some new recording settings, and I want to be absolutely sure that they work. Uh, so, yeah. Basically what should be happening for those who are interested in the behind-the-scenes side of things is that my OBS, uh, which is the program that I use to run this uh, thing, should be resetting and restarting a new recording every 10 minutes now. Um, I might increase that time up, but basically I've had to manually start my... Okay, shoot, I don't have the stuff I need for an advanced wiring kit. Uh, I'm doing on glass at least. Well, at least I have the glass. Let's make that. Yeah, I have to do that myself. Um, whereas back when I was using Fraps to record, which I was for games like uh, Half-Life 2 and things like that, I just kind of let the, the program Fraps run. And it was system intensive as all hell, and OBS is, is objectively much, much better. But still, grass is always greener and all, and there were advantages of just letting myself get immersed without having to worry about the um, the recording side of things. I'm kind of uh, stripping some of these resources bare, but you know what? That's kind of okay. Okay. Wire kit. Copper wire. The last thing I need for a computer is just a couple of table cards. Whoa! That was all kinds of weird. Uh, a couple of table coral samples, which can be got very simply a left. These rocks above me are coral aplenty. Or they have been, but I've also been mining a fair few of them, so let's just see if we get lucky here. So yeah, today's episode should be a fair bit easier to edit. Not just because of that, but because, god, I I'm... <sighs> The, the last episode I recorded with the construction of, Lily, of uh, New Lily Cove. Uh, about, like, God. You know what? Like six hours or something like that. Of just, again, chilling, playing the game. And I enjoyed it. I genuinely enjoyed it. But 
the ability to make progress again. Actually, I'll grab one of that as well. Something very valuable. God, I'm not seeing any at all. I've never had this much trouble finding it. Yeah, here we go. I just need to... Is that flickering though? That wasn't happening before. Ah. This is the thing. When the game says, hey, we've made a change, suddenly you're ultra receptive and it can kind of take you out of it a little. You don't want that to happen, really. Get back in there soon. Hey, Mr. Bone Shark. Put your teeth on me. I also don't feel like this is as fast as it was. But you know what that might be actually to do with? How's my frame rate? How's my uh field of view? Oh, it's, it's the same. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Checking it is exactly the same. Yes. Maybe they slowed this down just so you felt like you couldn't constantly outrun every threat using just a seek light. I do feel somewhat more sluggish. I don't know, didn't read the full patch notes. Um, but that's interesting. Games evolve and theoretically they, they get better over time uh, as people are able to reverse rush decisions and things like that. God, I really would love to just find the second one, for goodness sake. Ah! Oh, I'm further away from it now. Where are you, ya boy? Don't you fucking dare. Go! <laughs> oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. The door's right there. I'm not in as much danger as I thought I was. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Julie noted. Cool. Success. Hello, Arborium. At least I think that's the right term. Let's have a couple of shrub nuts. It's a snack. It's good to have a varied diet. Yeah, I wonder if there's a mod for like very diet stuff because sometimes it just feels like I only need one kind of food and then I'm good like forever. This was an actual survival game. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was snooty. Um, if this was trying to be as simulationist as possible about the survival, you would need a very diet. From what I understand anyway. At the very least, keep yourself in the top physical form that you need to, you know, outrun a swim shark. Alright, well, uh, this will not be the end of the construction, but let's find a spot for this, shall we? So that squid shark up there is obviously a concern. There. Uh, though, mercifully for the moment, not right now. But uh, I think if I was to put this here... Where was it? I, I did find a spot for it. Was it back a bit? Back even more? I don't really understand why this rock's a problem now. Yeah, it was, it was like, um... Oh, it was there. It was there, I think. Well, let's construct it and see how it goes. Oh, stop. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> what in the blazes? You know what? We're just going to have to drown. That's it. That's the only thing. 
Oh god, hang in there, guys. Um, and that was my mouse sticking for a second there. I don't know what happened there. Alright, it's over there, so it's... There. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get back and repair the damn base. <laughs> you know, I've skipped over so many, um, like, uh, like building episodes recently. Some of you may have forgotten what the actual, uh, you know, foibles of it can be. Oh, I need a repair tool, not a habitat builder. Which is weird when you think about it, isn't it? You think a habitat builder could repair damage instead of just, you know, create it. We're almost there. Don't drown plants, please. Oh, okay. God damn. I don't know if you guys heard that. Somebody fucking screamed outside my window and I thought it was coming from the game. <laughs> that was... That was disorientating, to say the least. God, it really did seem like it was coming out of my, my headset. All right, okay. It's actually like the water is at the exact level where it's just hard to see. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, still nothing. integrity restored Whew. draining systems initiated thank you for your patience favored pepper tree well that was a bit of a <laughs> first of all the squid shark has never ever aggroed from that range it might simply be too close now I think I might need to take it out which I'm not a huge fan of doing but come up in the past. Good, that's draining. Alright, well, I need uh, resources for a... Resources for a reinforcement, so... Lithium. One, two, three. Let's find a spot for this. Well, there's a nice big spot over here. Keep all the nuclears in. Pretty cool. Uh, obviously, we need to connect it, so let's take a glance. Just keep an eye on it. So, yeah, I mean, the angle isn't amazing that I have to come down at. Like here. Ugh, this thing. If it comes for me now, I might just need to. Hi. Stay indoors. Hmm. We going to war? Yeah, we gotta go to war. Ugh, sorry, Mr. Squid Shark. This was your turn first. But this is perhaps bound to happen. Oh. This is weird. There we go. Alright, here we are. Okay, disabled. Uh. Yeah, I, f I sort of feel like it ran away. No, it didn't though. All right. This is actually a shame. I don't like doing this. And maybe I don't have to. 
you can adjust their 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 um, trajectories of their own turf. So maybe I've just done that. Let's just see how it goes. There's a good boy, Nova. We're defensive builders. Or at least that is what I tell myself. Alright. Um, this, uh, this needs to move back. I did, I do appreciate, whoa. There we go. I do appreciate, I promise you guys an exploration episode. Um, I hope you'll, you'll find your patience with me. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, we'll, we'll get to that today. Promise. This is just the thing which I need to do. So, if I do that... Kind of sits quite nicely on top there, or that. Let's do that. It's quite a nice perch. Then we have to... I don't have the titanium for this yet, obviously. But... Oh, hi. <laughs> yes, I would like a window for this new place. Thank you. Oh, I just realized the noise that I'm hearing there is my swim charge fins. That's irritating. It's even more irritating knowing that I got rid of my last fins to make this thing. What if I want the atmosphere swimming around without that bloody noise the entire time? Well, anyway, let's get a bunch of titanium. Build a better mousetrap. So, it needs to come up there. That's the closest it can get, isn't it? So if I do that... Then this? Will this work? No, no, it's not. Ain't compatible. Taint compatible. Move this forward a little bit. Which is a shame, it looks nice there. I could just put a freaking... like hatch right here. That's an option. Oh great, thanks. Um I'm meant to be in do not disturb mode. Hang on. Uh so we've gotta cut this out. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back from my do not disturb. Apologies for the doxing there. There we go. Be awkward. I'd rather you didn't. Uh huh. Not bad. Bring myself inside. Put the ladder here. I mean, the obvious downside is that. <laughs> But that's okay. Um, I think this is easily fixed with a slight readjustment. Mm. Please let me... Oh, shit. This is the worst bit about the base, is that it thinks there's an attached component that needs to be deconstructed. Oh, it's the reinforcement. Good, okay. Sometimes it's overzealous. Put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Fuck me. Fucking stupid fucking game. <laughs> uh, we're doing it this way. Deconstruct. Run! Use the sea glide run. Oh, that's your shift button. <laughs> Finny!
Should have seen that one coming. Oh, there's none in there. Ugh. For the sole reason that I don't like the animation, it takes too long. I'm underwater in my own home. Hull integrity restored. That was the last one last Draining time. Systems initiated. Is it some kind of failsafe that the last place to go is the control room? I do still hear one here. It's up there. Chick cheek plant pot should be constructed first. Aren't you meant to be draining? Alright, where's the chic plant pot? That's a basic plant pot. Here's a chic one. Who cares? It's just potatoes. Okay, can I do it now? Oh, I swear to fucking God! They're not even in the same room! Thank Gideon. Alright. What I'm doing is this now. Oh, hi. Um, well, this is cool. It's also, also definitely where I'm hearing the, uh... Aha! Found you, you son of a biscuit. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Thank goodness. Peace and quiet. Ugh. Oh, don't ask me how that's working. <laughs> right, yes, hello. Um, god damn. We're here. How's our sharky friend? Non-present. Well, let's give it a go then. I mean, does this... How necessary does this make the moon pool, I wonder, at this point? Ah, gotcha. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, and let's simulate coming in for a landing here. awkward session I've ever had of Subnautica. It truly, truly is. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? There we go. Returning to moon base. Moon base. Moon base. <laughs> Bim! Absolutely righteous. That's so cool. <laughs> I wonder what sticks out of here. Um, 
There it is. It does seem to have ever so slightly cleared the area. Yeah, yeah, so its butt sticks out. And it's awkward because the location wasn't built for it and the fact that, you know, I don't necessarily need a moon pool and a, and a thing at the same time, but at the same time, raising it up a little higher is uh, maybe for the best. In fact, I could go one more, couldn't I? Do you know what? I probably couldn't knock us that rock. We're going to leave it exactly where it is. Cool. Uh, are you... Hello? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I actually wouldn't mind a little bit of glass. Could just use the fabricator on sea truck. Not gonna. Let's see if we can get uh, two glass out of what we got. No. Just give ourselves another couple windows. It's amazing how much the windows just kind of tie a place together. I mean, which makes sense. It's visual, right? I stick one there. See very nicely into that, and for for bonus points, like I wanted two, one there. I think so. If I really wanted, I could put a hatch up there. <laughs> In fact, that's exactly what I want to do. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you all. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you! What attached components? Was there an attached component? No, there bloody wasn't. Yeah, so it comes in here. Do the- whoa. That's the, uh... That's the moon pool. That's probably what I, where I got the, the moon base thing from. Comes in there, can see ahead, got a hatch here, and we have a lovely little porthole here as well. I think overall that's good layout. That's a good layout. All right, cool. Well, uh, as I promised you guys, um, there's gonna be some exploration to, in today's session, so I'm gonna see how this new recording thing is actually working out um, and if it's splitting the files properly because at the moment I don't see that it is but it might be so uh, I'm gonna save the game here and be back with you in a moment Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so yeah, that seems to be working. We're gonna record this episode on the basis that it is all working. And uh, yeah, if there's any problems, I'll, I'll, I'll muff them out in editing. Muff them, I don't even really know what that means. How am I doing on Titanite and stuff? I'll put my plant pots back. So, yes, I really only have one exploration objective for today. And this may end the current chapter of some net, some, some Netica, some Nautica episodes, which I am putting out. Um, and that objective is to return to the vent garden. Yeah, that's right. Now here's a quality of life change for you, Subnautica. Make the knife work, like, properly. It's incredibly difficult to wrangle sometimes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Farming has always required maths. Oh shit. <laughs> there. The vent garden. Uh, for that is the place where uh, I was tipped that there could potentially be something very valuable and that I suspect I know what it is as well. Am I completely empty in the storage here? I guess so. Hello. Your food. Um, so we're gonna head off that direction. Uh, shortly park the sea truck uh, in all its glory out a short way away and get to see what we can scrounge up I have a little bit of stuff on me and I probably shouldn't so let's go put it back I'm going out there for what is potentially going to be a valuable resource gathering I want to have as much room for it as possible so um yeah 
that's that, and that will do. Um, I wonder what how, what does it take to do a flare? But we use sulfur or something, which I just don't really have. Flare, crystalline sulfur. You know, if I'm lucky, maybe I have a. Yeah, I've got. I have a couple of flares. Whoa! I didn't expect to get five of them. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I uh, should only need like three. Nice. Good, that's good bang for your buck there. Alright, let's head out. I cannot be arsed with the sleeper module at the moment. I'll just, if it, if it goes night, I'll just wing it. Or having said that, I used to hate it when that happened in the original Subnautica. What would it cost me to do that? It's plastic ingot, fiber mesh, and lead. You know, I think I'm down the lead, so let's just leave it. Alright, pilot it. This is cool. <laughs> And then you could just rise up. There we go. There we go. That's cool. Alright, so I don't quite remember how I found this big vent garden, but I think it was just by kind of skirting the purple biome out to this direction. So we're just going to kind of go off that basis. Um, I did mean to increase the uh, length of time before OBS started splitting recordings, but I'll just leave where it is for now. And chances are, forget it consistently for the next five years. God, it is really slow. Let's bring it out a little bit more this direction. You can really feel your ass. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, yes, hello. You right there, partner. Sorry, I couldn't hold it in any longer. Hmm, the music suddenly cut out. I'm sure that's nothing. Um, readjust and save the game a little bit. We got this new unstuck thing, uh, apparently to solve a, an issue that I've never encountered myself, people getting trapped out of bounds. Um, I have detected some boundary issues in the past with this game. Like, uh, but that basically is manifested as ores going out of bounds, which is not a big deal, uh, even though it is irritating. All right, so this is about where we saw the chilicrate. I cannot see it at the moment. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, keep your distance. We don't want to go into there with our booty on display. Sorry. <laughs> Coming up here, and here's where we're going to park. There we go. I don't think I need any food or anything like that yet. What have I caught, though? Whoa, okay, no, that, <laughs> that was misleading. <laughs> All right, let's, um... Do we take the prawn suit out to do this exploration? Do I go just via the sea glide, or do I take the... I'm gonna take the uh, Nova in its rawest form. Just with this. So it's out there and kind of low. Low, get low. Right, it's okay. I'm edging too far. you just so there it is there it is it's a good distance away but still wish I remembered where it was this thing just gonna kind of got to go further further dune turn off this light too I think I see it 
Yes, indeed I do. Bone sharks are fine. That was a very, very close chelicorate. The direction of which I'm not sure of. Um, but let's get out there a little bit. There's tension aside. There you are. Let's just look at it. If we look at it, it can't hurt us. Ah, just gotta get out. Oh, we should equip the um, the the this, the this, and then the this. That's not right. This. Yeah. We're doing some scanning because uh, we never scan. We never actually scanned anything here. Because of the lost save file. God, it is huge. It's just straight up very, very big. Hug the walls. Let's get down there. I'm kind of looking for the next safe place to plonk my uh, sea truck. The music in this place is amazing. I just wish it wasn't so bloody threatening. Look at all this. Oh, oh, discus fish. These lamp things look interesting. So much stuff in this game you just can't scan. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's hit the sea truck down a little bit. I think it'll be okay to do that. Get it closer, get my oxygen supply back. And we are, as I feared, getting to night, but in fairness, that wouldn't really matter right now anyway. Don't have the sleeper, sleeper module on me. Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Hi. You know, in terms of fucking placement, uncool. Shit. <laughs> Alright, let's just try. All signs point to that I should be able to do this. Yes! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I'm safe. I mean, I'm gonna drown, but... <laughs> I threw a flare and I had the exact opposite effect. Okay, well, um, my stuff and health is gonna restore. Let's, uh... Let's burn one of those and get up to full health. What's, uh... What's in here? Is this... Oh, it's red wart. Okay, cool. Well, uh, you know what? I need samples anyway, so we'll grab one of those. Aha! Yes! <laughs> I knew it! I bloody knew it. Okay, we need samples. Jesus! <laughs> not tempting fate there. It's not a massive fan of the fact that I'm in here. And you know what? I do feel quite trapped. Um, so I'm just going to make this quick. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. How are the, the clippings? Whoa. Did you hear that? Hi. All right, all right, we're going home.
just get there. Whew, cool, that was exciting. Uh, let's fuck off. Yo, I just realized I have a beacon for- <laughs> I have a beacon for the bronze suit. Okay, cool. I'm good. Let's just go. We know we can survive a nibbling from these guys, so let's just make a beeline out. Present, present, male end, female end. There, I got it. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah. Okay, so we got red wart and a whole bunch of spiral plant clippings. What I use them for, I don't quite remember. But I'm sure it's something important. This is the teleport module right here. Kind of forgot about that. Um, right, uh, so what have we learned? So the data bank. Uh, we've read this before, so I'm only gonna skim this here. Bank Garden, yeah. Stationary Leviathan. God, I forgot that's what it was. Hmm. Yep, tentacle anchored, keeping the Bank Garden firmly in place. Narrow opening. Uh-huh. Microorganisms. Yeah, constant internal pressure. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Like it. Makes sense as well. Just didn't get in properly last time. <clears throat> Just bad luck at the angle of approach, I guess. Thank God I had one of you guys. Uh, that was Sir Tenebris Nova um, who told me that uh, this was possible. Reminiscent to mushroom striations, uh, the spiral plant contains a strong but lightweight fibrous material that is useful for insulation and pressure equalization. The spiral plant lives in symbiosis with the vent garden, which provides a safe environment for the spiral plant to go, so it's really specific. I needed to find that. Bit of a weird decision unless there's multiple vent gardens in the game, because that it's a big old map, you know. In turn, the mesh-like fibers of the plant filter out heavy metals from the vent emissions. Of course, it's also possible that, um, uh, yeah, I just, I, re I re remembered the reinforced damage suit is one of the things that needs synthetic fibers. Uh, and I wanted to check that I'd built that for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, just um, the, the materials that it's useful for, I don't know how necessary they are. Um, in which case, whatever, like, not everybody's going to find it and everything in a game, and that is often okay. All right, let's head back to Lily Cove. And we're just gonna wrap up the episode there. It's a bit of a, mi bit of a micro one. Despite the length of time, we didn't get a huge amount done. But since I am using this new recording thing, I wanna make sure that I get this edited before uh, any kind of big episodes come out of it. And uh, I suspect, yeah, I think after this, this kind of represents everything that I was told to do in the short term. Uh, by the last chapter's comments, um, and therefore I think I am going to kind of call the, uh, the this arc of episodes here and take another wee break. Now, I'm quite keen to go exploring down the crystal uh, biome and down the, uh, the fumarole section, so I may start up the next few episodes as soon as I think, but I think in terms of a, a stopping point, this is a cool one. So if you're Obviously, this is subject to change, but if you're watching this um, on YouTube now and uh, you're watching these as they release, yeah, I was going to say this doesn't look right at all. It's loading in. Then this will probably be it for episodes for the next little while. Don't know when the next bout's going to come out. I'd say this is just the nature of things right now, uh, but it is an arrangement which is actually genuinely working for me. So thank you so much uh, for supporting me in this. I'm going to get in. Uh, we are gonna still, like, plant some stuff. There we go. Bring it in. Lovely. 
lovely. That's so much better. It was so awkward just leaving the modules outside the base before. It really, really was. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, sweet. That's pretty, that's pretty nifty too. <laughs> All right, so the spiral plants and stuff, they need, uh, all of it needs water. So these are gonna be external grow bed things. Uh, we are out of external grow beds. Um, but I don't need all these, surely. Bit of last minute building, guys. Hope you don't mind. I need. Can you get me another one? Fucking fine then. Jesus. Oh god. Okay. Well, I might as well come back here. I'm very, very low on titanium. But uh, ooh, is that what I want? Maybe actually this. Let's give the gold garden place like a kind of multi, multi-leveled feel. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Yeah. All right. Let's stick our our grow bed down, which we have just enough for. I really think too hard about it. Let's stick it there. God, if I had just a. <laughs> I had but another bit of titanium. But just one more. Yes. <laughs> I'll stick them both up here. For a bit of asymmetry as well, we'll do this. Give it some red wart. Let's uh, plant some spiral clippings. Fantastic. Cool. All right. Well, that's, a, that's an episode, guys. Um, and an arc, indeed, a chapter. Um, a, oh, I don't know, I don't have names for the chapters, but the last few episodes we've really been consolidating, preparing, uh, ready to make some real headway in terms of future exploration. Now, I am conscious of the fact that my old Subnautic series got critique for not making enough for forward progress into places and things like that. So the last few episodes might have felt maybe somewhat frustrating for people. I apologize, but that that's just the game sometimes. You got to prepare, you got to build. And maybe, you know, I didn't have to build all this, but I had fun doing it. And that's a hugely important part of this game. Just the bits that you enjoy doing. And uh, Lily Cove is this quite amazing base. I'm really, really happy with it, if I'm perfectly honest. And this new addition of the docking tube very welcome i will definitely try and keep down um instances of me saying in the next episode we'll explore and then building for most of the episode that i do genuinely apologize for but onwards onwards seriously like i can't think of another thing that i sort of need to build but like with the last bout of episodes your comments and your help and your suggestions you know not backseating but suggestions tips things that i might have missed are super welcome and I can sweep them up in the next uh, in the next kind of batch oh guys yeah it's I've had a really good time with some nautic over the last few weeks and uh, who knows maybe the next episodes will be sooner as a result not making any promises in the meantime though thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next episode whatever we're doing <laughs>